so guys welcome to this new video guys in today's video we are going to look at how to remove some of your paper limits okay i'm going to show you how to fix your paper limit and how you can go about it and i'm also going to show you how to link a card to this paypal account i'm going to show you two methods okay so if you're interested if you're excited then watch this video to the end in order to get the whole information so if you have a paypal account just like what you see on the screen right now um, there are limits to which you can use your account especially if it's a new account you need to see the limit you need to know the limits okay so if you want to load the limits you just need to come to this section go to this account um, settings okay if you're on your mobile phone as well just locate account settings on your mobile phone now once you click on account settings you're gonna be brought straight to this page okay so right now you're gonna see this section that says limit on your account so you need to make sure you know what the limits are so that you won't uh, overdo so these are the limits right now for security reasons initial limits are set on the account you can receive and send withdraw and hold in your paypal balance it's easy to get rid of the limit we just need a bit more information get started by clicking the lift button so i'm going to show you what um how you can lift all the limits on your account for this account right now i don't have any daily limit okay balance daily limits zero none uh, receiving limits no limits sending limits now this is where it gets dicey okay so the sending limits yearly i have three thousand and seventy dollars fifteen cents i'm going to send out from this account every year now why this might look kind of big or it's actually small especially if you're doing kind of business i do if you do arbitrage if you buy and sell paper or funds this is small because only one transaction sometimes in a week can go beyond three thousand dollars okay if you're actually doing it very well okay so like they say here yearly limits we can only set um three thousand five hundred and seventy and um, this account is fairly new so I have, all, I have, all, I have um, 3,395 remaining. So I'm going to show you exactly how to lift the limits. Now, for withdrawal section, you have um, 54,493.69 USD. Okay, so this is the amount I can withdraw per transaction, and this is the amount I can withdraw per day. So this is okay. But let's say we want to lift all this. The next thing we need to do is to click this lift limit section simple right now let's click it and see okay so once you click on it it's actually going to take us to where we are going to link a pay a, a us bank because now you need to verify you are the owner right they need you to enter your us bank account right here so if you have been watching my videos i've showed you different ways to link a us bank to your paypal account especially if you don't live in the us if you don't have a physical us bank account so you can also make use of a virtual us bank account if you stay in uh, countries where you can create a physical us bank account so one of the ways i showed you is using payoneer so just create a payoneer account and uh, now you're going to be giving banks accounts virtual bank accounts in different currencies so if you're going to be using your usd bank account virtual bank account you need to make sure you have set it to um, community federal savings account so if you go here and click on view details you see that my account is set to community federal savings okay so if yours is not set to community federal savings all you need to do is to click on this solution guide now yeah, it's going to ask you to select an option of course the first one is for us i'm, un I'm unable to use my receiving account with paypal stripe or other payment providers once you click on it it's actually going to ask you to click on this next option so they are going to change your bank account from maybe a first century bank to your to community federal savings okay so um once you have that now you've changed your bank account to community federal savings then you are going to give you your account details so if you click on this option and click on receiving accounts it's actually going to bring you a click on view details you, you're going to find all the details you need to verify your us bank so they are asking you for routing number and account number 
simple you're gonna find it here this is the routing number and this is the account number okay so yeah and the account type is checking of course and then uh, you can click on checking so yeah so these are the ways you can verify the account so you just need to link a us bank account so once you do that the limit should be lifted okay so if you don't want to use payoneer and uh, you are in africa especially in nigeria you can use another one called geekpay.africa so you can set up an account go to geekpay.africa set up an account after setting up an account you need to um request for your usd bank virtual bank account so if you click on this account section we are going to find my us uh, my, my my bank account okay so these are the various bank accounts i have with this account so if you want to create your just click on create account select the currency usd and click on create it's actually going to create it for you so once you have the current the bank account now you need two things you need the bank account number and the routing number and of course the account type is always checking so you have all this information you fill it out right here on your paypal account so once you do either of these two you are going to remove the limit now that is it about limits on your account so now let's say we want to link a card to our paper now what how which card can we use how can we go about it linking a card to our paper then um don't worry i'm going to show you how to link a card to your paper account okay now to link a card to your paper account we are going to also use two cards okay these two cards are proven okay i've actually tested it out and it's worked so that is why i'm bringing it to you so the first one is using payonia card now this option might not be available to everyone especially if you have a new payonia account you might not be able to a card but when you do transactions i think um some couple of um, threshold or mark with your pay with your payonia account you are going to ask this of um they're going to send you this offer to order a card okay so you just need to click on it and order a virtual card i've actually gotten mine a virtual card okay so once you have your card i'm going to show you the second method so keep watching so once you have your card you want to link it right now all you need to do is to go to this paid and get paid section and go to banks and cards okay once you click on banks and cards is actually going to take you to this money page okay if you scroll down you see that i already have my pioneer card linked okay so my pioneer card here is linked already and um, yeah it works so all you need to do in your own case is to click on link a new card and uh, once you click on it it's actually going to ask you some information about the card so if you got your pioneer card from pay if you got your card from pioneer it's actually going to give you all the details okay so um the second card you can link is this geekpay.africa if you have an account you verified it is working then you need to go to cards and make sure you order a virtual card so click on create a new card and then give it a name here and make sure it's a virtual whichever one self virtual or physical but i love working with virtual because it's actually going to create it very fast you don't need to wait for any time so create the virtual card fund it okay so you can fund it from any wallet you can fund it from your ngn wallet you can also fund it from your um usd wallet so you can fund your you can send money to your ngn wallet here and pay for the card now they are going to make a card fee of three dollars you can fund your card from anywhere between five dollars upwards okay so once you have your card funded then you can through the process of creating your card now once you have your card created then you can come over to paypal and link your card just enter the debit number the credit number the, the card type and uh, expiration code and um, address so once you do that your card should be able to link so they're going to send you a verification code to verify you are the owner of the card. just like what you see on my payoneer account this is the, the verification code paypal sent me and they actually removed 1.9 usd and then after that they refunded the money back so be rest assured they are going to refund the debited money they just want to make sure you own it and uh, you can provide them with the code once they need it so yeah that is how to go about it linking a card to your paypal and i'll show you exactly how to remove limits by linking it to 
your paypal okay so in some cases you when you have a new account it some of these things might um give you an error or might be delayed so you just have to be patient and try them again because it's a new account okay so you need to give it time to develop so uh yeah these are the transactions i've done with the paypal account so it's a fairly it's a new account but you know i've done some couple of transactions with it okay so i believe this video was helpful if it was make sure to smash the like button subscribe turn on the bell icon beside it so that you won't miss any of my video once i drop them okay so go ahead enjoy your money and um, even make more money okay thank you for watching this video i'll see you in my next one